post nut clarity. I hate this term. Yes, you didn't even want to do this episode. I didn't want to do this episode. Not only just, I don't know, there's something about it that was like, I don't want to do that. But okay, for people who don't know, give us a bit more like a definition. Okay, well, I've got, what is it? I've got one from this really important and incredible millennial source. Is it Webster's Dictionary? Uh, com? No, <laughs> Urban Dictionary. Uh -huh. Duh. Remember me for? I remember going on Urban Dictionary in like grade six with my friends to like look up like, like, gooch or something <laughs> like 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 anus whatever. <laughs> anyway, so it refers to the immediate clear-mindedness or soberness an individual gains after orgasming or busting a nut. <laughs> Hence, post nut clarity. And then there's also a Japanese word called Kenju Taimu which literally means wisdom time, which is after you've after come. After orgasm. Let's be clear, this is not just for men, even though it's been described as like nutting being like ejaculation. Yes, exactly. This we, is for yes. everyone, but obviously, as is the case with our sort of like male-centric sexual universe slash earth, um, like a lot of it surrounds like the idea of men. But there are, we'll get into some studies on women that's really interesting about mm. it. Um, okay, so the idea of post-nut clarity could be positive or negative. I was talking recently with friends about it and they didn't even think about the negative connotation, but the I, pos Okay, yeah, go ahead. What? You what? I was just gonna get my own perspective, but finish your thought and then I will. Okay, so the positive one is when you have clarity and like you can go on with your day because you've had an orgasm. The negative is the feeling of shame from what you just did. Like you come to your senses after having mm. an orgasm and then your post-nut clarity is like shame involved. So I think I... I have only experienced the shame version of this. Are you serious? Well, some articles I was reading Wait. were describing post-net clarity as like an aha moment. Like you solve a riddle at work after sex. Yeah. I've, that's what you pictured this as? I mean, that's what I have. You, you're like, no, I don't like you're like solve. orgasming and then you're like, oh my God, I know what the video is. I'm like <laughs> orgasming and I'm like, now nah, let's paint. <laughs> Like, okay. you know what I mean? Like, it's but like, I've just Whoa. like never had a moment where I was like trying to crack the code and then like had a struck, like there's times in my life where I'm like, oh, I have an idea for a song. It's never after yeah. like, but that is what many people describe this as. I, if I'm being honest, like I've had the clarity of like, okay, like I was just anxious and, or horny and it's gone and now I can focus back on what yeah, yeah, I yeah, yeah, want. Yeah. That I guess I could call clarity, but also I've definitely experienced the like negative side of it. Wow. Okay. Well, we'll yeah. get more into that later about post nut dysphoria, which is like a real thing, but okay. So post nut clarity, the term it's claimed to be coined by Alex Cooper on the call her daddy podcast, but this is false. Yeah. It's definitely not. I saw that too. Even on Wikipedia, it says that 2018. I'm I like, know, I've known like, this term my whole life. I mean, I haven't known <laughs> it my whole life, but definitely it's been in Unless just like unless six years just goes by so fast. Yeah, I think it is that. Well, no, it was first used on Twitter in 2012. So they know that for a fact people were using yeah, it. Yeah, and they found documents from like monks from 2000 BC that talking said, about post, post nut, nut clarity. No, but I'm kidding. oh my god, I was actually like, well, they were just talking about how meditate. Wait, <laughs> do monks master right? No. I don't know. Actually. If they can't like do so many other things, they definitely can't <laughs> jerk off, or else they'd be doing that all the time. Um, okay, and then also. Hey, the the Drake song like hands on your knees, hands on your knees. <laughs> well, Rich Baby Daddy on the track, which is recently, he says, "I swear, popping my shit come with consequences." Post not clarity, I came to my senses. <laughs> <laughs> um, hands on see, your now, knees. In a sense, hands on this your is knees. maybe not what Drake means, but to me, the clarity was like, oh, you might have realized, like you were being driven by your horniness and now you're like, why did I didn't need to do that? Yeah. Or like I hooked up with somebody I shouldn't have hooked up with or like I, I didn't, I like got back with my ex just cause I was so horny. Yeah. And now I'm, I have clear mind and I'm like, why did I do that? But that's the more negative one as the, opposed yeah, to like, versus the like, I'm gonna wow, come I feel amazing. and then like go on a run. Yeah. Cause I couldn't run before cause I, I didn't know the run one was an option. Hard on. <laughs> um, okay. So well, if we talk about the negative one, which I do think is the more Drake one, like, Post not clarity, I came to my senses. I think is him being like, I realized I, I like shouldn't have hooked up with that. Was probably driven girl. by my arousal. Or, or guy, because speaking of gay face, last episode Drake's got gay face. <laughs> that's for oh, sure. No. It's okay to have a gay face, even though being gay is obviously embarrassing. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> okay, so one. So reason, we're talking about 
What are we talking about now? Why you could feel some sort of like shame after. Okay. I have well, a lot of thoughts about this personally. But. Okay. Well, the science says that there ha the, the only, okay, there's not much science on this to be fair, <laughs> but the only way that they could conclude this could happen is that when you are aroused and also while you're like masturbating, your levels of disgust decrease. And huh. they, they have studied this and know this. So they're thinking, okay. That's why maybe, people will, like eat ass. Yeah, <laughs> like literally, exactly. Like, ooh, yeah. And then after you're like, wow, <laughs> that's, that's where you shit from. Okay. <laughs> but like, yeah. So the example in the study was talking about porn and how people can feel ashamed of maybe how much time they've spent masturbating to porn or okay. how much or the types of porn they were watching. Yeah, yeah. It's like all of it. Not that it was disgusting, but it might feel disgusting as soon as you come. Yeah. And while you're ejaculating and masturbating, your levels of disgust go down. So they're like, okay, there's, there could be sort of like, it's a, like a biological switch. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you want to go into your personal stuff? Well, no, that. I'll also say on that note, cause I was like, if we talk about what actually happens during arousal and orgasm, without getting into like details, it's not that interesting. Obviously your body's changing a lot, right? Like there's hormones going through your body, neurotransmitters firing. Yeah. So there's just like a big change in what's actually happening to your body. They look at like the prefrontal cortex, basically like not stops working, but there's like way less blood flow. That's where you're like decision-making attention, social behavior happens. It's also like, and right after you orgasm, like the blood starts flowing back. To yeah. Area. Yeah. Sorry. So that is the other one I was thinking of too, is essentially your prefrontal cortex goes down in blood while you're, like highly aroused, highly aroused and even masturbating. And then the blood flows back. It's also the part of your brain that has to deal with like risk assessment, mm -hmm. which is why you can imagine maybe do like you have a Taking riskier, riskier sex yeah. than you would have like thought. And then you might have post not clarity and be like, why did I do that? Mm -hmm. Your prefrontal cortex is literally like, flowing with blood again. Yeah, and then obviously as soon as you orgasm, then you have like a new, a change in like your body and what's happening. So I think it's, because there is not actually, like you said, very much research on quote unquote post nut clarity. Which I was surprised by. I'm like, there's so I'm much not. research on everything. Like this feels like a smart thing to research. I guess you're right. There's definitely a lot of research on other elements that are related to post nut clarity. Yeah, yeah. And like, we're going to talk about post coital dysphoria. There actually is research on that. And that is like the feeling of sadness, excuse me, and guilt and stuff. He's crying. <laughs> it's thinking really about an orgasm. Um, I'm cry. But you know, like after you orgasm, you have like a rush of dopamine and then prolactin's release, which makes like a refractory period for a lot of people unable to have sex again. So, or unable to immediately like orgasm again. Um, I, basically, it's just like, yeah, your brain was focused on sex and now it's not. Your emotional center is like back on. And so a lot of people feel weird after good or bad. Yeah. The post not clarity came to my senses is real. I was going to say personally, and I, th I think a lot of this has to do with being a young closeted gay person. Okay. Is that a lot of times when I was young, whether I was looking at porn, whether I was just like masturbating to my own imagery, I always felt guilty after. Okay. Cause I wasn't out. I didn't know I was gay. I thought I was straight yeah. or I thought I was bi. And so it was like, you'd be horny and then you'd have that moment and that clarity of like, why did I do that? Oh no, like I did that thing God again. is watching. Well, God is watching us. Masturbate to gay porn. God is watching yeah, us. Yeah, Bette Midler supports gay sex. So. Yeah. <laughs> and she, she, wasn't, so <laughs> she wasn't talking about gay porn when she sang that song. <laughs> um, but you know what I mean? I think there's probably lots of queer people um, who think, or uh, like you said, you could have like a fetish that might seem like to the regular society kind of bad or like whatever you want to call it. And so after you're done, you can like, you start to process what that means. Yeah. And as a young gay kid who's not out or not comfortable with being gay, I think I had a lot of those moments of association hmm. of like regret. It was like my yeah. horniness made me do this and now I'm not horny. And I'm just like, why did I look at that yeah. thing that I'm trying so hard not to do? Well, okay. This could be poist, poist, coital, poist. <laughs> poist coital dysphoria. <laughs> no, it's actually very serious. Post coital dysphoria. So this is actually well studied. Mm -hmm. Unlike post nut clarity. So what is the difference? Okay, then? so this is like I'm not to say that you have this, but <laughs> it's when you get sad or irritable feelings after you have consensual se sex. It's commonly referred to as the post sex blues, and it happens when there's like a range of negative feelings after you've had a desired sexual activity. So okay. you could masturbate on your own volition, but also they're talking like you've had perfectly fine sex with someone. Right. It's not like something about. went wrong or something. Yeah. You can have a range of feelings, sadness, irritability, agitation, anxiety, or depression. And it's related to trauma. 
or abuse mm. or overall anxiety and depression in general. I think that was so like the trauma read, part the is people like, who have it on a regular basis yeah. is often like I just mean it's you're more likely to have that than like a straight guy because you've had the yeah, trauma yeah, yeah. of having to masturbate and it means something bad for you. Yeah. And essentially the reason I wanted to just talk about it was like if you actually are feeling sad after sex, you this is a, a something that you would go talk to a professional about. Hmm. As opposed to post not clarity which is like maybe you're feeling you're really feel good, about good it. after you've <laughs> masturbated. It's like you don't need to go talk to your doctor about it. They're going to be like, yeah, we get it. So um, it's called post-coital dysphoria, and it is a real thing. Yeah, and a lot. it's like a study of 1,200 men found 40% experienced this. 20% have had it in the last four weeks. Around 50% wow. of women have also experienced it. So it's definitely wow. it's very normal. I would say um, actually there was one more study that was from 2020, so pretty recent, that found basically they expanded the list of symptoms. Typically in studies, they were just saying um, like post, 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 it is hard post to say. coital dysphoria post coital. was defined by like tearfulness, sadness, and or irritability. Those were like the three after characteristics. After sex yes. or coming. Yes, after Whoa. like orgasm. But this study actually expanded that definition by including like anxiety, sadness, depressed. And they found that around 91% of participants Whoa. in the study had had that experience before. So it is very common. Okay. Um, obviously, it's not all the time. And I think yeah. it get, if it gets to the point where there's like three, per, three to 4% of people have it on a regular basis, maybe hmm. then it'd be worth like talking, talking to somebody about it. Um, but yeah, I think like for me, it's never happened in like a actual sex encounter. But it's only masturbation, really, like, yeah. but masturbation when you were closeted, or even now. You'll I think still maybe have now it. there's still some associate. Maybe because sometimes I'm just like I should be working and I'm just gonna go masturbate. Yeah, like when you work at home, I bet a lot of people are feeling this more now that they work from home. Yeah, because they can't just like go jerk off in like the cubby at work and like get absolutely fired. But now they can because their cubby at work is their own yeah. bathroom. And so maybe there's some guilt. The only person that. watching them is their like little schnauzer yeah or partner i guess um also, do you have it ever what post nut dysphoria or clarity clarity yeah i have clarity you have clarity clarity like wait I what mean, is the song no is it a kim petra's song clarity i got clarity is okay. that a song wow you're gay i was going to the john mayer <laughs> song that's like okay Ooh. you're a bro <laughs> Do you remember when you were closeted and then you would masturbate to straight porn and be like, God is watching us. I'm free. Yeah. I'd be like, see, I know see? I would literally be like, God, did you see that? Because it's literally, uh, yeah, I would literally like that. I would have post nut. Like I swear I was looking at the girl the whole time. I would have post nut clarity and like skip out of my house that day <laughs> and be like, guess what everyone I'm straight. And they'd be like, wait, what do you mean? I'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So do I get, po yeah, that's what I mean by painting. It's like, like you'll paint, you'll go paint. <laughs> like, see I mean, to me, I no, would. No, I'm saying like when you're. <laughs> okay, this is insane. Like when you have what Drake says. Okay, post not clarity. I came to my senses. Yeah, when you're like, I don't really feel like painting. Oh, I'm horny. I'm gonna <laughs> masturbate to porn, and then you come, and then you're like, okay, well the porn's off, and now I'm gonna go paint. Yeah, never, ever, ever happened to me. What do you mean? What do you mean? I've never had that happen. Do you not? Like, you no, just I said, have. Do you I, not when you work? Like, do you not work after you've come? Because you No, were, then I'm like, well, I want to go to sleep now. <laughs> oh, wow. But I will obviously go back to work. <laughs> Wait, and like, I, you will just, like, sleep no matter what? No, like smoke no, a cig but it's not sleep. like I'm, like, skipping back to work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, and that is very common. Another study okay. found... 90% of people in this study, it was a few hundred women and just under 100 men, had unexpected post-coital symptoms. The most common was a depressed mood. But um, in women, it was usually like mood swings or sadness. And in men, it was usually reduced energy. Okay, that's fair. And I think that's like pretty common. Like if you think of also people having sex, like I feel like a lot of people will fall asleep after. Yeah, I like guess it's like, I, it's like, tired it's like I come and then I go smoke a joint and then I pee. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, you need to factor in for your little. Okay, it's like, welcome to like the worst human alive. Like what'd you do today? Oh, I came, smoked a joint and then like painted. <laughs> it's like, okay, you're, who are you? Jackson Pollock. Okay, anyways. Um, also for women, 
there's a lot of like claims of misogyny in the term, obviously post nut. Mm. Like, I don't think there's many girls going around being like, yo, I nutted Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean like actually go off. That's amazing. But <laughs> it's such a man term. Yeah. And so they feel like it could also be a way for men to justify just like having sex and getting away. Like, Oh, I need to uh, nut. And like he's I like, have to do get it, yeah. my rocks off with this chick and then get back yeah. to work at the stock market. Well, that's similar to like, um, blue balls like there's a lot of debate around yeah, like, like a lot some men use that yeah. as an excuse to be like i have to otherwise I'm which is so scary it's like you're and not yeah it's also like just yeah right. it's like <laughs> jerk off my friend okay so they said but women do also get post nut clarity after they have an orgasm because there's like very similar endorphins in fact in some ways they think that like the endorphins could be even more intense in women so there could be even more clarity but Based on the studies of orgasms, the sad part is that women are just likely having less climaxes mm. and therefore are ex like not reaping the benefits of the post nut clarity as much as men. Okay. But then I was like, you know what? It's like women just like jerk off all the time. Well, it's also like <laughs> study lesbians because lesbians also reach orgasm way more frequently. Yeah. So I'd be curious to yeah. know if it's like different. That's why lesbians are always walking around with absolute clarity. <laughs> skipping to They're work. They're skipping and I'm like, oh, how did you manage to pickle all those beats Painting. and raise a kid and do all... They're like, oh, we're just post night clarity all the time. But there was something where I was like, I think a lot of the studies were talking about sex with others. And I was just thinking like how if you are experiencing post nut clarity as a woman. It's like, get out that vibrator and go to town and increase those post nut clarity odds. Yeah, but you may not get it. What, come? No, you might not get clarity. You might get fucking Whatever the sad you have. one. You yeah. have <laughs> so yours isn't dysphoria. dysphoria. Wait, so wait, so do you actually think you have that? Well, not as like a condition. Okay. But I like certainly know more about that than clarity. So are you like scared then to like masturbate and come because your energy has gone? Because sex and coming, I do feel like, yeah, I'm always tired after because it's like, well, I had to rock the boat. It's a know? risk. I have to calculate the risk of like what wow. time of day is it right now? Yeah. It's kind of like, you know, when you have like a hot shower sometimes at the wrong time of day and then you're like tired, like, it makes you tired. I never have done that in my life. Oh, well, I because I have cold showers. Yeah. I sometimes make the mistake like before going out at like yeah. seven or 8 PM or before yeah, friends come yeah. over having, and I love hot showers and then I come out and I'm like that. I'm so tired. Yeah. That is sometimes where I'm like, look at you and I'm like, my boyfriend's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because I'm like, you'll go to me. You'll be like, Oh no, I'm so tired. I just had the hottest shower of my life. And I'm like, yeah, we're going out. Like, why did you do that? Because it feels so nice. Yeah. But like, I just, I, it is funny. I don't experience that because I can't like, I, I just, um, it's too tempting. It'd be like if I put a little joint in your mouth and it's just like, it's like oh me being, God. getting a joint for you is yeah. me being in the shower with a knob and having the knob just like have to turn what? hotter and hotter. <laughs> That's so, I was at the beach yesterday, not smoking weed and like got a whiff of weed and almost like ran over the person like snatched it and just like <laughs> inhaled it and was like wow i guess yeah. that is a problem <laughs> i didn't by the way but i was like staring at them and it's like maybe if they catch my eye they'll just give me it <laughs> you're just smiling at them the they're whole like time. that guy's like giving me the smile from the <laughs> smile movie i'm horrified um yeah so also like do you think <laughs> no I'm, I'm so curious what you're like <laughs> do you think that post nut clarity is like a valid thing to think exists like in the world because it's so understudied like do you think that drake is talking about something real i think yeah so let me be careful to say obviously that right now there's really not a lot of research to support it but it seems like colloquially if that's the right word or like commonly expressed enough that i think there's probably something something to it. going on okay. and and i think like of the researchers that were like kind of conjecturing around research of this nature, they were like, okay, it, it could, it could be a reasonable thing. And it makes sense that your hormones and everything are changing a lot right huh. in that moment. So it's not unreasonable that this happens. We just like, don't have the, yeah, uh, the hard evidence there, to yeah, show exactly what's going on. A lot of the information is anecdotal, like talking to therapists, urologists. It's not like an actual study. I would love there to be more studies on this. Master's students got on it. <laughs> but one thing that was anecdotally said, which I thought was funny, and there's like no studies of this, it's just cultural. It was a therapist saying that with the invention of OnlyFans, people are having more negative post nut clarity because they're like dropping money. <laughs> 
What do you mean? In their horniness on uh, someone's OnlyFans, and then they're coming and then regretting it because like twelve ninety nine was just like taken out of their account. Can I tell you? I was like, Whoa. I've literally never spent money on porn in my life. Okay, so you don't care about the industry. <laughs> I I guess that's so accurate you to are say. so that you are anti sex work. <laughs> no. Okay, wow, I didn't know my boyfriend was against <laughs> sex work. No, I'm just into the ad model, okay? I'll watch an ad. Okay, wow, you're just like ad, 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 saying ad. like, I don't know what I mean. What, describe. like the things when they're like, big, chitty, yeah, mama, be like, these old ladies don't get anyone. <laughs> yeah, I know, I get those all the time too. I'm like, I'm like doesn't this algorithm know I'm not? Yeah, yeah. This is a gay porn Or website. it's always like, <laughs> this game? I'm like, game it's like <laughs> this porno game is the best in the world gonna get your rocks off in post not clarity and noise all you have to do is like navigate i'm like i'm not playing a game like that is insane to me but i can imagine it like works for some people yeah so i'm watching ads i have done um only fans not like participated <laughs> in it but imagine, have, you imagine you found out i was like yeah. one of those masked <laughs> like, only fans guys <laughs> no but um i did um I guess this is okay to say because I have an OnlyFans. I did Ozzy from Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you don't even watch Survivor. No, but we were watching an old season because I'm dating this absolute freak who's like, want to rewatch season 27 of Survivor? <laughs> I'm like, okay. And he was so hot. And then I paid for the OnlyFans because he came out as like, bye. Mm -hmm. And then I think that was not true because he- You think it's like for his OnlyFans? He only has sex with women and trans women. Those are all mm -hmm. women. And it's yeah. just like, okay- I think he was doing it so dumb gay guys like me would like pay for his yeah. only fans. And I did well. it while watching the show. It wasn't even like a post nut clarity mm. thing. So I haven't, ha I can't say I've had that feeling, but I think that's very interesting. Like you've spent money now yeah, and then you've come. It's like gambling. I can yeah. I can imagine you're like more likely to have the, the guilt or the regret. I came to my I senses. Mean, like, was it worth yes. the money? And I then they spent, were like, yeah. there was a bunch of people interviewed and they were like, yeah, like, you get it for a month and it's like, okay, I have this thing for a month that I spent money on when I was like masturbating and I regret it. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we do think that people should be paid properly. Oh yeah. Like, I, don't, I don't mean, <laughs> I don't mean that. I just like, I realize I've never spent money on. You've never spent money on an OnlyFans? No, I've never even gone on OnlyFans. Yeah. I and I'm not just, I like kind of, I'm like, why haven't I? Yeah. I just assume cause I'm, I'm just like really cheap. So I like, I'm in my mind, I'm like only fans cost money. I'm not even going to bother looking at it. There's like a free one. There was like a really, Oh my God. Another really hot guy from survivor. Wow. You've really influenced <laughs> me. Like Michael Yerger. Oh yeah. Yeah. But then his was free. So like he has a free one. Sorry. Like the, some posts are yes. free. And then yeah. there was that other Instagram guy that we were obsessed with. who was like a TikToker and like would mm. dance to like Raul and Andre so videos. So you're on a lot of also fans. Free. No, but also <laughs> free, which is interesting because it's like, I so haven't been yeah. on in a while, but they would like be like, my undies are off if you pay. Right. And I was like, okay, that's interesting. Like these free things are enticing. Yeah. It's all just else. advertising. Um, yeah. I've been like, because since I was like, 13 years old, I knew how to torrent. So I was like, Sean Cody, sorry, I'm not paying you. I'm downloading this. LimeWire, wow. kaza, hello. You were downloading <laughs> porn? Yeah. But then deleting it really well? Yeah. Wow. Or well, actually, I knew yeah. how to hide. You wonder why I'm so organized in yeah. folders on the computer? Gay trauma. <laughs> it's because I was like, well, I got to have a folder within a folder within a folder and then like five folders and then another folder. And like, so, so did you have like, all really reasonable things? And it's because you had like, tech enough like parents or siblings to I don't know. know no I think I just used the internet to learn no but I mean like it was I was never either. that concerned because I just feel like my family is not like good enough at computers. oh I mean yeah I mean I have siblings that and I don't know just being careful yeah that is true like that is someone could actually let me click on that, that is probably why you are we all shared a so computer. thorough with your computer like <laughs> it is crazy like you yeah. are tech no well I'm also I love to be organized because editing you can get if you're not organized it can be really wow. chaotic but I was like that might be part of it that I'm so used to managing so many oh my god I don't think I ever download like I think I only lime wired like the new Rihanna song <laughs> I don't think I ever realized that I remember typing in hot naked men dot com <laughs> Like, like, like being like, and then it would be like galleries of still images and it would be like hot construction workers. <laughs> and then you'd click it and there'd be like 30 images of hot construction like wearing workers. wearing hard hats. And just like 
that's when I knew I was gay because the excitement of seeing like the still image gallery would like <laughs> absolutely blow my mind compared to like right. all the porn I was watching with like my friends and stuff. Yeah. Like it was just like... Or this, like seeing a Playboy or something. Yeah. Or, or, or like an actual m- movie p- straight porn. Right. But I'm just like seeing a still image of like a construction worker covering his dick with like a hard hat and I'm absolutely <laughs> gone. It's like, okay, well, I'm obviously screwed. <laughs> Happy Pride. <laughs> But yeah, I do think post not clarity is needs to be studied more. I do think it's real. I do think that it creates a lot of energy and issues in people's lives. Like I really think, I even think working from home, I think there's just so much mm. ample. I couldn't believe there was so little research on this. Well, also everything surrounding the internet is so tangentially pornographic that Instagram like, is porn. Exactly. Yeah, even, even TikTok. It's like the amount of times you scroll and it's like, unrelated to anything sexual a man is wearing sweatpants and has obviously fluffed yeah and now you're like you can't really avoid and then suddenly your brain's like well i'm horny now yeah (laughs) or like my youtube shorts algorithm yeah sometimes i end up there when the day is sad desperate it's just like those two like gay twinks that are like kiss or slap or oh yeah i'm like what where like it's literally (laughs) millions of views it's just because it's like he's asking like a hot guy whether he's gonna kiss or slap his butt and it's just so basic it's so interesting because it's like youtube is porn literally like and also remember like davy wavy Mm -hmm. and we like like that was kind of porn well at least he he is making porn like his is like oh wait self-aware no no sorry i was thinking oh my god it's like he actually is making porn now yeah i meant davy wavy in the past on youtube i know but it was always tangentially meant it was meant to be sexual awareness and stuff like yeah i think that to me like there are things now that are about completely unrelated <laughs> things, but they're weirdly sexual. Whereas his at least was like, I'm going to stick a dildo up my ass <laughs> and see if they can tell when the dildo was up my ass. <laughs> like, okay. You know what Wait, I mean? It's like a you... game where you just have to look at his face and like find out when it's in. That is insane. <laughs> and I love that the YouTube algorithm's like, okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah. We don't um, see it. Okay. Do you remember when we were in a Davy Wavy video? Okay, yeah. So this is an unbelievable <laughs> story. So we were like back in like the YouTube days of 2000 what like 14 15 this is when we need a patreon to start telling stories yeah. off, off, the, off the pod this like. is how we're gonna make our only fans patreon okay so this is this is patreon but know what it's free because we're not organized for that. <laughs> so it's like 2014 15 and it's like we're at vidcon and it's like hey guys want to collab we're like yeah sure we're gonna do your davy wavy we'll talk about this science of like chest hair yeah, and like how, why some people have it, why some people don't. And he was like, great, great, great. I don't really know what my video is going to be yet, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. We get to this hotel. <laughs> There's like the hottest guy like sitting on the bed. <laughs> We're like, Hey, how y'all doing? And like, I'm pretty sure the guy's straight. He was straight. Yeah. yeah. And he was like, so we're going to blindfold him. <laughs> And we're all going to kiss him <laughs> and he's going to guess which one kissed him. And we were like, okay, so oh. like, um, we are so not comfortable with that. We're so sorry. He's like, hmm, okay, I've got a solution. I'm just going to kiss him for time. <laughs> well, and he will realize. While you guys stand there and we'll be like, which one kissed you? And then he'll guess. The joke will be like, it was all day. Because <laughs> we were like, sorry, we're not comfortable kissing this straight guy. <laughs> like for like, it felt like it felt yeah, like we were about to be in a porn. <laughs> and so, but, yeah. It wasn't exploitative. Like a guy. No, I yeah, think he was, was consented. Paid. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like, it, he was also he knew what so was gonna happen. hot. I was like, yeah. I don't even think I can kiss this guy. Yeah. Anyways, we just stood there beside him under still on the internet. We're like in the video being like, <laughs> was like we just stood there while he kissed him three times and then and then and then we were just like, Hey yeah, it's sick. Come like, over to our video. Come about to Chester. our video. We're gonna talk about <laughs> chest hair. And then the, I just like remember the straight guy leaving and just being like, We need to quit whatever industry we're in. <laughs> we need to leave LA and we need to go to like I don't know like a Buddhist sanctuary and meditate for like 40 d <laughs> anyways no shame mm-hmm. no shame but that was probably the closest I've ever got to like doing OnlyFans yeah well I say we take a break <laughs> <laughs> nothing else to add no, I think that's, good. that's a good end and you're right we need to pay we have so much tea yeah there's we lots have we could- so much tea yeah, but, yeah we could 
that, reveal all. That wasn't even uh, tea. No, I know. That's, huh. we got, we That's something to take think about. down the industry. Yeah. Expose yeah. Them. Marcus Butler, look out. I'm kidding. <laughs> or whoever. We don't know anything whoever. about Marcus like, Butler. Yeah. Well, but that's like that era. Yeah. Totally. Like at the time it was like, yeah. Little girls wow, that's running a name after I hadn't thought about some so guy long. named Marcus Butler, and you'd see him and you'd be like, "That looks like every guy from my high school." I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll be right back. 